Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 42 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. We're asked which number is between 7.129 and 7.156 and we have four different numbers and we're just asked which which one of these options lie between these numbers. So the first step to solving any problems is to understand the theory and the concepts we need to know. So I encourage you to watch this video here. The link is in the description and it, it, all, it should also pop up in the right corner and it should help you review how to work with a number line and so on. But the first thing that the second step is to actually do the work and solve the problem. So we have two numbers, 7.156 and 7.129. The First thing we need to do is figure out which one is bigger, right? Is 7.129 more than 7.156? Well, if you want, you can do times a thousand. So I'll just say which one is bigger. So we can do times a thousand times a thousand. So 7.129 times 1000 and 7.156 times a thousand. And the reason I'm doing times a thousand is because we have three decimal places and we multiply by 10 or multiples of 10. We move the, we shift the comma to the right by one. So we have 7,129 and here we have 7,156. So it becomes clear that X is between 7.129 and 7.156. So 7.156 is bigger because it has uh, more hundreds than 7.129. And we, we have four options. So which one is between? So let, let's go in order. If we have A, we have 7.12. So if we do A, that's really 7.120. We see that is less than the lower bound. That's less than 7.129. So it's not this one. It's not between. And if we look at B, we have 7.16, so that's 7.160. And that's bigger than 156. So that's bigger than the upper bound of 7.156. So we also know it's not in between. That'd be on the right of the interval. And then we have 7.141. Maybe that's reasonable here. We have 7.141. That's more than 129 141 is more than 129 and it's less than 7.156 so what I'll do is I'll put it in between so 7.129 is it's bigger than that and then it's also less than 7.156 therefore we know it's number C but let's just compare uh, let's just do D anyways, because we're almost there. And sometimes we realize that we made a mistake. So we have 7.156. That's one more than 7. Point, or technically 1,000 more than 7.156. So it is bigger here. 7.156. So that'd be on the right of our interval. So that's it. We're done. It's number C. As always, it's never a bad idea to build some intuition once we've got the answer. So what I did here, I've used the uh, Desmos to create a number line. So I, I put the link in the description. So that way you can see how you can create a number line as a teacher. And I placed the interval in green. So I'll just write this here. That's 7.129 here. 129 is just under 7.130. And then that's 7.156. And you see that the only number that's between this interval is number C of 7.141. So that confirms our answer. So that's always great. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button and share this video with your teacher friends or just your friends in general. 
I appreciate it a lot. Remember to do the work and I'll see you in the next episode.